Hello everyone, this is Virain and welcome back to another tutorial for Facebook marketing. In this tutorial, we're going to look at creating different kind of custom audiences and lookalike audiences for your ads on Facebook. To get started, let's go into our ad manager. Now to check the different kinds of audiences we already have, we'll go under all tools under assets. There's this tab tool called audiences. There is one kind of audience that I already have called all website visitors. I'll get into this in a bit. If you go under create audiences, there are three kinds here called custom audience, lookalike audience and saved audience. These are the kind of audiences Facebook allows you to create for your ads. Let's start with custom audiences. Now there are four different kinds of custom audiences. The first one is customer file. Now, if you have any kind of database for your customers, like their email IDs, phone numbers, their names, um, any kind of data at all, you can upload that file on Facebook and then Facebook is going to map it with their database of users and find those customers for you online. And then you can use that file and you can use that audience to create ads and reach out to your customers. So that is what customer file is about. You can copy paste data or you can import from MailChimp. There you go. And there's so many different kinds of data that you can upload. Website traffic. Um, now website traffic is the kind of audience that I had created here when it's where it says all website visitors. So if you click on website traffic, you will first have to have your Facebook pixel in installed onto your website. Now I can select on anyone who visits my website or people who visit specific pages of my website, um, who visit certain pages and not visit other pages. So say for example, you have an, you have an ad running and you get a lot of traffic from that ad and some of them end up registering on your website, but some don't. So here you would want to add URL for all the people who are coming onto your website, but here you will add an URL to exclude the people who are registering so that you can create an audience of users who've seen your website, but not registered and show ads to them. So you could create audiences like that. App activity is again, the same thing. Like, like website, you will name your app, you will add events to the app and you can target audience audiences based on the people who, who are using your app or doing certain engagement on your app. Engagement on Facebook is something new. Um, this is a list of people who have engaged with your current content on Facebook with your videos or your lead ads or your page or your canvas. In case you don't know the kind of content canvas is, we'll get into this in another video. So these are the four kinds of custom audiences that you can create. Now let's go under lookalike audience. Lookalike audience is something very interesting. Um, what Facebook does is that if you have created any sort of a custom audience, you can select that audience here. You can select the country that you're looking to target. And now what they'll do is they'll find you people who, ex who put, who have the same interests and behavior, uh, and demographies as the people in your custom audience. So for example, say if I was to select all website visitors, which is the custom audience that I, I had already created and say if I chose the country as India. Now what Facebook is trying to do is find more people in India who look like the same audience that visited my website. You can select the audience anywhere between one to 10% of the population of the country we've selected. So um, if I was to select 1%, what it'll do is, what Facebook will do is it will only pick up one percentage of India's population and try to find my audience, the best suiting audience for me in that 1%. So needless to say that if I choose 1%, the audience is going to be much more closer to, uh, to what the source is. And if I select 10%, I'm going to try and reach to a more broader audience, but they will not be 
as similar to the people who have visited my website. You can go under advanced options and create three different kinds of audiences or you can select say, up to five different kinds of audiences and have lookalike audiences of up of one from one percent of the population to two percent of the population to five, six, seven and so on. And I can create my audience here. So that's lookalike audiences. And finally, there is saved audience. This is any audience you could you could just create audience just like you do while creating ads and you can save that audience to reuse later. So now, for example, if I was creating an ad for anything, say page likes, while selecting the audience, I could just add custom audience and say all website visitors and I could just target my ad to them. If I want, I can, I can narrow down the audience from all website visitors by adding more options here. Like say, from the people who visited my website, I only want people in the age group of 18 to 22 and so on. You can go ahead and create ads for this these custom audiences as well if you have saved audiences you can use them here but right now we don't have any so that's the end of this tutorial you have learned creating different kinds of custom audiences and lookalike audiences please go ahead and give it a try create these kinds of audiences and try targeting ads to them if i did manage to teach you something new please subscribe to my channel and share the videos with someone who might be interested in learning more about facebook marketing thank you